Welcome back everybody to Budget Kodai. Today we're going to do a deck profile, purple deck profile featuring new cards from the SD. So without further ado, let's jump in. By the way, the big boss of this deck is none other than Waifu Lilithmon. Right, so to kick it off, first for Digitamas, we have the new Pagumon. So Pagumon is basically when it dies or when the Digimon above it dies, you t discard the top two cards of your deck. So this helps build your trash quickly. And then after that, next we go on to our rookies. On further talking on building our drop zone, our trash, we have, we play three in Mon. Very straightforward. When he dies, you mill three. Combine him with Pagumon. You add seven cards into your drop zone or your trash in just one attack. In Mon three, Pagumon two, and they themselves add another 2 each. The 7 card, easy. Next, moving on, we have the new Gabumon. So basically this Gabumon is that when you attack, his ESS gives you. When attacking, you draw 1 and then you drop 1. Further builds your drop zone. And it's good in a way that you get to decide on what kind of cards you would like to put into the drop zone. It gives you a bit of control here and there. Next, for our last rookie, we play for Drakmon. Really, really strong. When play, search for an option, 1 cost or 7 cost, add it to your hand from your trash. Alright, so since as I mentioned, our big boss is Lilithmon Waifu, so obviously we're going to spam a lot of options in this deck. Hence, why Drakmon is there? To recover it back from the drop zone to us. Also, with Pagumon and Immon, they think... They may tend to drop too many cards all of a sudden. You might drop a few things into the drop zone or the trash that you want. So drop one is there to recover it from you. Next, for our champion line, we play for Vanillas, Maramon. It's a one cost Digivolution. Very straightforward, very fast to Digivolve. Very, very strong. You want to use it and go up into your ultimates or go up to Lilithmon as fast as possible. Next, we play for Devimon. Also very straightforward, very strong. Vengeance and as an ESS, also Vengeance. He's basically there to help you solve anything big. If you're up against Omega, let Omega whack you first. Then use Devimon and trade with him. A champion for a level 7, very much worth it. Next, we play again. We play Devimon, but this one's the blocker Devimon from the new starter deck. 6 1 cost to Digivolve. Very good, very useful, very, very cheap. So, as you can see from our champions line, we have Devimon, which costs 1, and we play Maramon, which also costs 1 to Digivolve. So, basically, we're trying to skip our champions as fast as possible and go into our ultimates. Speaking of speaking, uh, speeding up our Digivolution on our ultimate lines, we play 3 blue Maramon, it's a vanilla, 5 to Digivolution, also to quickly pump up into your Megas. Then we have another Waifu. Well, this is from the Mastermon Waifu, half of her actually. We have Lady Devimon, 8-3 to Digivolve, but you kind of want her for the... On Digivolution skill, she draws 2 and then you have to drop 2. So in a sense, it's a sort of draw power but at the same time, builds your drop zone, trash, whatever that you want it to be. But, and also on top of that, since we're playing an option deck with Lilithmon Waifu, we're going to utilize Lady Davimon's ESS. So once per turn, as an ESS, when you cast any option, she will automatically delete any level 3 that your opponent has. You kind of want to target it with stuff like Gazimon, Terriamon, the annoying ones, and Chumon from Black. Last but not least, since earlier you have seen we have Drakmon that recovers option from our drop zone. For our ultimates, we play Skull Satanmon. He is basically the one that recovers your Digimon. So his skill is basically when he Digivolves, search for a, let any purple Digimon from your trash, add it back to your hand. He recovers and he recycles for you. Now we go into our Mega Line. Okay, first of all, we play two of the new Crest Garurumon. He's part of your pushing power. He has one additional security check. And on top of that, when you go into him, 
once per turn, once per turn, as long as you can pay the cost, right? Digibus 2, search for a level 3 and add it into, uh, summon it straight from the trash. So, what would you do with him? You would basically use him, Digibus 2, bring out Dragmon, Dragmon, search for a 1 cost or a 7 cost option from your drop zone. So, in other words, by Digibusing 2, you add another level 3 on the field, and on top of that, you recover one option back from your trash to your hand. Last but not least, for Omega, let's not forget Waifu Lilithmon. Very strong effect. When you Digivolve into her, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, choose two option, add it, recover it back into your hand, and then not to mention, not all that, once per turn, when you cast an option, she helps you recover two memory. So, really, really strong. I really, really love her effect. With options, stuff like uh, Trump Sword, you can recover it non-stop. Stuff like Heat Viper, you can use it non-stop. Speaking of Heat Viper, now we come to our option. As you can see, I play, I tag in one Heat Viper here. And compared to, as you see, the new Davimon spell. So Heat Viper and Davimon spell, they're good. In the sense that this costs one, kill one of your own, and then kill one of the opponent level four or below. Whereas Heat Viper does the exact same thing, but Heat Viper kills two units instead of one. So it might cost a bit more, but when you really need to kill stuff like blockers from black, Heat Viper is a better option at that point. Right? Chip cost. Then next we play one Bellsmon uh, option. Mainly him, he's for the power, 3000, but also for the security, he's a memory spark from your security zone. I take in one, quite good. Last but not least, we play two Trump Swords, right? Also very straightforward, he's your big burster. You meet anything inactive, cast your Trump Sword, destroy your opponent immediately. And with Drugmon, basically you have six options that you can recycle over and over and over again. You can choose, you might want to play 2, 2, and 2, but for, depends on your style, I would prefer a 3, 1, 2. So mainly because these 4 cards here is mainly your main burster, you once your opponent hits their level 4, you're going to cast this immediately and get rid of them, they're going to be stuck at level 4. Or then you force them at their hatching zone. They're going to maintain their Digimon at the hatching zone to push up beyond level 4 to go up to level 5 and then level 6. And when they push it out, ooh, guess what? You have Trump's one. Next for our option, we play 4 option, uh, for our Tamer, sorry. We play 4 Tamers, 2 mats each. So he's a memory Tamer. When you have, when at the start of your turn, you have 2 or less memory. He makes it to 3, and then when you place him, he also helps you recover stuff from your trash. This mat from the new starter deck. When any of your Digimon get destroyed, rest him, and then you get one memory. So they can be destroyed by any method. Perhaps when they attack security, and then they get destroyed, rest him, you get one memory. Or from here, by destroying one of your own, you destroy one of your opponent's level 4. So technically, you still destroy yourself. Go for it, you get one memory, same with Hit Viper, you gain one memory. Then also if you send out Devimon to die, he also gains one memory. Right, so as you can see, this deck we have Pagomon that builds your drop zone. We have Gabumon as an ESS partially does it. Immon is your engine. And then let's see, we have on our ultimate line, we have Lady Davimon, which is the discard engine. So see, you have so many cards just to build up on the discarding engine. Whereas for the recovery, we have Drugmon, we have Skull Satan, two mats. Waifu Lilith. And then, well, he's a Digibus. He doesn't really recover card, depending on how you look at it. But as long as 
you bring something like Drakmon out and Drakmon can add back your options for you. Well, Crest, in a sort of way, is part of the Recovering Cards engine. And there you have it, seven options. So uh, with Drakmon, you literally accept this with Drakmon and with Mats. So Drakmon, we have four, we can recover any of this four times. And then with Mat, two Mats, we can recover any of this twice. So potentially, you have six here with Drakmon, 10, and then with Mat, another two more. That's 12 option cards you're playing in this deck, just from the recovery engine. Right, so this is this brings us to the end of the video. If you find our content interesting, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And the, the whole deck list will be posted at the end of the video. Bye, I'll see you next time.